Welcome to a quick teaching tip on the do's and don'ts of teaching at the bedside. We spend a lot of time teaching our learners about patient-centered care, but the best way to teach about a patient is to include the patient. That's where the bedside teaching comes in. When done right, the learner gains knowledge, improves communication skills, and learns to recognize the patient as a person, not a pathology. Of course, when done wrong, well, let's not do it wrong. To help, let's get to the do's and don'ts. Do establish goals with your learner, even before you get to the patient's bedside. Don't be too broad or vague with those goals. Do engage your learner by encouraging them to think out loud and not just follow your lead. Don't play mind games or give pop quizzes. Do show respect for your patient by showing that you value their time. Don't forget to respect your learner's time too. Finally, do set an example and act as a role model for your learner by treating the patient like a partner, including them in conversation, and giving them opportunity to question you. Don't talk about the patient in the third person, use too much jargon around them, or do anything that treats them more like a study tool than a person. And that's it. If you do this, you'll teach your learner to do this, which ultimately benefits pretty easy, right? So don't overthink it and do go teach at the bedside or the clinic or the home visit for that matter. Your learners and patients will be better off for it.